Hi everyone! Look here! I have two objects, a ruler and a measuring cup. Tell me, have you ever noticed how some rulers have two sets of marks? One on the top and the other on the bottom? Or how some measuring cups have one set of marks on one side and a different set of marks on the other side? Well, this is because these different marks represent two different measuring systems. We have the metric system and the US or UK system, also sometimes known as the imperial system. And now we are going to have a closer look at each one. First, to measure length and height in the metric system, we use meters. But in US and UK units, we use feet to measure length and height. To measure weight or how heavy something is in the metric system, we use grams and kilograms. And in US and UK units, we use pounds. To measure distance in the metric system, we use kilometers. But in UK and US units, we use miles to measure distance. Finally, to measure speed or how fast or how slow something goes, in the metric system, we use kilometers per hour. But in UK and US units, to measure speed, we use miles per hour. Why is this important? Well, a person that is six meters tall is not the same as a person who is six feet tall. And a pumpkin that is 10 pounds is not the same as a pumpkin that is 10 kilos. There's a big difference. But basically, these are just two different ways of measuring things. We can use both, but in some places in the world, they prefer to use one over the other. Which do you prefer? The metric system or the US and UK units? Which do you learn at school? Well, now that you know about both, it's time to try the exercises. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.